Ah, uh, that's the perfect lock for cutting in half. I'm gonna get this thing out of here. Fall another tree. Oof. Yeah, on the note of people not knowing how to drive. I don't got much to say, apparently. Alright. He completed his task without getting stuck. Without getting stuck. Okay. We're gonna drop... Well, I'll just fall a few of them. Right over what I got sitting there. We got 23,000. We need, like, 33. to get rid of the map. That is very much in my way. Yep, it's the helper that's putting the tailgate up. Dang it. Good enough. Whatever. How far is it sticking out? Alright, where's the tree I just fell? Right here. Eventually, somebody's gonna come down this road and wanna go the other way. My truck is gonna be in the way. But for now, that is not the case. Was that a horn? Now we're... Dang it, I don't know where the other... Yeah, you know we'll do that. Now, I can pick this up. Yeah, that was probably a horn. Will it get stuck if I put it between the wheels? Can we get high sided? Nope. Between the wheels is just fine. That's probably too big. Nope. There we go. Dang it. Oof. This is not loaded well at all. Stand on top of the cab. Move stuff around. Ugh. There. Well, that's as close as it's gonna get. Whatever. Let's drop another one. Fall in that direction. Alright. Four hundred dollar wage payment. That's alright. That is not a good place to stand when you drop a tree. A fairly good chance that it will come back and kick you. We're on top of a couple of things with this one. Alright. 
Come on, give me my green circle. There you go. About yay long. And about yay long. And it's just like that. Now, where is the tip of this tree? There it is. That is another reason for us to cut grass and go sell it. Although we can't hire a worker to do that, because it's not a field. Can hire a worker. Like technically, we can cut what grass is here if we get these logs out of the way, and then we can use the snow blower to put it up into the trailer we already have and sell it as grass. We won't get much for it, but we'll be able to see what we're doing. And that, on its own, might be worth it. On that note, we also might be able to load logs on top of grass. I don't know the answer to that. I kind of want to know. But being able to see what's going on with how crazy this grass is growing would be rather helpful. side. Maybe I could turn the truck around. Right about there. Alright, we got away with jumping without throwing the log. That's a plus. drop something else. You know what? The more we fall, the more stuff is in the way. What? Oh, can we load? We cannot run. I don't think we can run the snowblower on the front of that one. Can we run it on the front of our new tractor? Case, it's too bad we can't search K International. Yes. Attachers, front hydraulic. It will cost us another 1200 bucks. <clears throat> but then we can run the snowblower and get all this grass out of the way. All right. Well, that's that's good to know. And 
that case, we can start dropping more trees. And deal with it when we get the new truck, oh, the new tractor. Because we're definitely starting to clear out a spot to be able to work the grass. Come on, give me a green ring. There we go. Yeah, we're good. Sad thing is, once I finally get my green ring, I gotta double check to make sure where I'm falling. Ooh, did that land on my truck? That tree is thick on the bottom. Right. It's a thick boy. Alright. Come on, get the branches off. We barely missed the truck. Alright. Knock that off. Take a good chunk. Pick that up and put it on the back. Actually, no. Can I make this stay? No way in heck. It's gotta go on the front. Actually, we'll do it that way. Heck yeah! That way, it's not sticking out in the way of the stuff in the back. Oop. There. Actually, well, if I cheat it that way, technically you can get it up there and hit R real quick to make sure it doesn't roll, but then when I try and restrap the back, it'll be an issue. Can we get this into the back of the truck? Yep. My car is booking it. The whole thing of the AI having being able to actually drive quick enough now is rather nice. Although clearly, the AI driving those cars is better than the AI driving our truck for us. Alright. We need the fat end on the back, so we got a hope and heck of getting this to stay. Well, that might be all she wrote. Make it one more if we're lucky. Come on, pick it up. This is not a very well loaded truck. We can get one more up there. the extent of it. <sighs> Set destination right there, going that way.
Hey, I'm impressed I can pick this one up. Uh. Sounds like something's unattaching and reattaching. Nope, didn't make it. I didn't throw that. It automatically threw it when I went up over something. What is that noise? Oh, heck yeah. That's got to be pretty close to good. jump over things holding a log and he's stuck apparently these guys are supposed to be learning as they go he's gotten stuck on that corner every time I've sent him down here Ooh. Stay on all four wheels. Twenty-three hundred. Another three grand. Oh, we got train in the way. Good news is the train isn't very long. Don't do this in real life, people. It's dangerous. It's also probably highly illegal for a very good reason. And now when I hit it with a good speed, it just barely goes anywhere. But yeah, I hit it with no speed at all. I'm gonna run this thing back load that tractor and send an AI with the tractor and see if they get stuck as easily with the tractor as they do with the truck. I almost feel like I'm wasting my time sending a guy, an AI dude, in the truck when I come flying back so fast and I gotta constantly worry about them getting stuck. Oh, dropped it. I could probably move this tractor a little closer, but... <sighs> that engine doesn't have much for horsepower, and there's a lot of weight behind it. I don't want it to get stuck. Jump up here. Oh, that's not even halfway full. Although the whole purpose in it is just to learn if they're going to get stuck. There's still no point in sending a guy with half a load to learn that. Oh yeah. And one made it all the way to the other side. Well, we'll call it at least one, because if more made it, they're all the way down there. 
Yeah. I can probably stick one or two there. And then call it good. This is pretty long. Nope. Set destination, the exact same destination. He's going fine even though he's not on the road when the truck wouldn't. We'll let him do his thing. all the way to the end without having to hack off the end to get rid of green stuff now back to the issue of grass oh and a worker put up my tailgate for me let's move it yeah it's not gonna fit Try this again. Escape. Set destination right there. your chances with me. Oh man. How? Like what reason could you possibly have to have done that? Yeah, that's... Alright, I know where I am. Hey, bud. You walked into me, I didn't run into you. There's a manhole there. Another three grand. Ooh. We are thirty five hundred away. 
I wonder if... Sending him back... Because that guy doesn't seem to get stuck on the way back. I honestly don't know what the... Is it because they go this way? He's already going faster. Whatever. We're just gonna let him do his own thing. We are way too close to a new tractor to worry about what that guy is doing. Oh, well, they're all on that side. That could have something to do with it. There we go. getting real close. I mean, we would have... We technically could go pick up the new tractor. And it would run that trailer faster. Than the old one. But we wouldn't have the front end loader until we ran this little bit here. Put that there. Mm, there it is. Yeah, that's about that long. This one opens up more than that one. Come on, give me my green circle. What's going on here? You are currently charging me for using the chainsaw. Show me a green circle. There we go. Right on top of everything else. There. Meow. That's about truck bed length. Oh, it disappeared. Darn it. I can clearly see that. I can't clearly see this one. That does not sound like my tractor. Oh, hey! My tractor's here! Outstanding! Cool. So we made it back without getting stuck. I don't know what his deal is.
That might be a little long. Nope. Those are fine. Alright, now, once I pick up the new tractor, all these small sections are a thing of the past. Alright, let's try it this way. Get that one last small section on there. We'll call it good. That should be enough to pay for the new tractor. Oh man. Will you stand up there? You won't stay in there if I do that though. You also won't stay if I do that. Alright. Did it? No, I didn't stay. Alright, run this thing down by myself, because I'm pretty sure, oh no, we need like four grand, because we got to cover the bucket as well. Oh, stay on four wheels, come on, there we go. Now that, had I hit that fence, that would have stopped me. There's no way there's four grand worth of stuff here. Thirty-one. Yeah, we need another two grand. That's got to be the ratchet stuff's resetting. Because if we pull into the shop here, oh, that little thing stops you. Gas pedal is depressed. Should go see a shrink. It's a depressed gas pedal. Small tractor. Although, we also need it to use standard, we need that, I don't necessarily need it right now, but there's a $400 option, what's charging me, rim colors are charging me 400 bucks, 430 450 zero why does it start at a charge you know what is any of the stuff I need on sale heck no right, back small tractor not that one this one. I don't know why that automatically goes that. The turbo thing that it charges you for does not affect. Okay, we don't need that. That's money. Front hydraulic, we will need eventually. Standard. Uh, 
that's not doing anything. Front loader attachers, 500 bucks. So that's now 20,000. Upgrading the engine doesn't cost anything. Goes back to 90 after everyone. 150, 170. We're gonna get that. We'll set up. That looks like there might be weights in the back. We're gonna use that one. Engine doesn't matter. Attachers. We do need that, but we don't need it right this second. There's no difference in those costs. That's $20,000. Oh, it's another 10000 for the loader. And at 170 horsepower, it might be more than 10000 But we want 170 horsepower. You can't change the color of the tractor. Although international should be red anyhow. That seat looks good. Alright, we'll buy a $20,000 tractor. Go back. Back. We got 170 horsepower. So... Front loaders. 140. 180, 120, 180, I don't know. Combinations, you know what? Let's go back to the tractor and make sure I'm buying the right one. Front loader, there is no combinations. It'll cost me 10 grand to find out if I'm buying the wrong thing. That's... That's definitely a thing. What's this? This goes 26 miles an hour. Eleven grand. It is do 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 front loader. Ten thousand dollars, twelve thousand dollars if I need that one. Ten grand back. And then front loader tools. It's another three grand for the log forks. Unfortunately, there are no big bag handlers that work for logs right now. So we actually have to use the log forks. This is the longest I've ever had to wait to get log forks. Should we leave you here? What do we need, another $2,000? That truck can handle it. Alright. Hold down one more tree. I think... Yeah, hold down one more tree. Stick it in here and get at her. Otherwise, we can run the next episode with picking all that stuff up. Yeah. Hold down another tree, load this up. And then next episode, we will have her, 
the cache 